Okay, what's going on everybody? I just wanted to do a video of uh, my attempted barbell restoration. Um, I said in one of my prior videos when I got this equipment that this barbell was not in the best shape. You can see it's all caked with chalk. Um, honestly, I really don't see a lot of surface rust on this bar. Um, but I can tell in the video, and even just by looking at it, it, it doesn't look as nice as it used to. Um, this bar is actually supposed to be completely black, but just because of use and all the chalk that's caked in there, um, it's kind of faded it out. So what I wanted to do is just uh, use some pretty basic tools, try and get this barbell restored as much as I can, um, and kind of see what it looks like. I have not touched this barbell with anything yet, so it's just gonna be a quick cleaning and seeing what I can get from there. So what I did is I went to the hardware store this morning and just picked up some basic supplies. Uh, I got this brush, it's actually a three-in-one brush, it's got a little scraper end, um, but it's got the bronze bristles as well as the plastic nylon bristles. I got this one because I know you don't wanna use the bronze a lot, it could damage the finish that's on here, but there's probably gonna be some caked on areas and I wanted to make sure I addressed those. So I did get bronze bris bristles and the nylon bristles. I also just picked up some basic three-in-one oil um, to try and keep this thing clean and lubricated. Uh, Cause like I said, it doesn't spin as well either, but uh, hopefully we can fix that up. So what I'm gonna do first is just try and clean up some of the loose chalk, maybe some of the ones, or some of the chalk that I've used since I've owned it uh, and see how that does for me. This. We'll start here. This is what it looks like before, and we'll clean it up and show you an after. All right, so as you can see, it um, doesn't look a whole lot better on camera. It definitely looks better in person. I got quite a bit of the loose chalk off of this area. Now I'm going to try adding a little bit of 3-in-1 oil, seeing if that can help. Just drop a line. And work it in. As you can see, there's still some chalk in here, but in just a few minutes that I was able to sit out here and clean it, um, that's that removed quite a bit. It looks a whole lot nicer now. Um, definitely, you, it, it still isn't black. I don't think I'm going to get that black color back on this bar, but it looks really good. I'm going to keep working on it, trying to remove some more chalk, try and clean it up. If nothing else, just keep it oiled. Um, and then I'm going to jump over and see what we can do about the sleeves. The knurling all the way down this barbell is a whole lot nicer. Um, you can already tell there's a lot of grip back in this barbell. Now what I need to do is try and work on the spinning of it. So what I'm going to do, see if you guys can see this, is I've got it mounted in a couple of plates here and all I'm going to do is just drop some 3 in 1 oil down the collar. Spin it to get it all worked in. So I'm going to let that sit, and while I let that sit for just a minute, I'm actually going to apply everything I just did to the barbell to my kettlebell, because that's starting to get a little rough too. It is getting a little rusty, so let's see if we can clean some of this up.
After just a little bit of care and oil and cleaning, the kettlebell is back to good as new. You can still see some of the imperfections on there, but I mean, this thing is designed to be used. This is a tool. This isn't, nothing in my gym is designed to stay pretty forever um, because I want to use it and I want it to look like I've used it. But one thing that's important is just take care of it. Um, again, this is just a rag, a nylon brush, and some basic three-in-one oil that I've used. These are an investment. I want these items to last me for a very long time. And these pieces are not expensive. This was like $3, and I think this was the same. So for six bucks, I've got a, this is gonna last me a long time and I barely used any of the oil. So I'm gonna have these out here and wipe down my barbell after every use and then oil it maybe once a month. This is what the spin looks like now. That is a considerable difference from what this looked like when I got it or even what it looked like before. I just put a little bit of oil down the shaft. So really, it's super simple, you guys. Take care of all your equipment, especially if you have a home gym, and it's gonna take care of you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped in any way. If it did, please hit that like button. If you wanna see more, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. But until next time, remember, we're all in progress.